Wait, no, now it's in my hair. Right, sweater, kind of? Wait, what, what am I doing? Hey, it's Amanda. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me. I just wanted to start off this video by saying I am sorry. I have been all over the place, like just a whirlwind of chaos. Anytime I get like hit by a truck, not literally, but figuratively, I always say that I just don't have time and something is always suffering and right now it's just putting out as much content as I can. I always create a schedule <laughs> of what I need to film, what I need to edit, what is going to be uploaded when. And it's just been really hard to find time to juggle all the things that I have, whether it's career, personal life, social life, YouTube, even hockey, which is getting sacrificed right now. And you all know, if you watch like my past 10 videos of how much I love hockey these days, I feel like my time management has just been completely thrown for a loop right now. And I'm not happy with myself with it. it it is affecting me in some kind of way because I just haven't been able to dedicate the time that I want to dedicate to my channel and it really does make me sad. Not that I'm trying to cry on camera, so I'm sorry that I have been lacking in content, lacking in responding. Don't take it personally, I'm beating myself up over it. Hopefully for 2020 things will get better. On a happier note, my Bijou Beauty Box is already in for December. Oh my gosh. I got the email notification of your box has been shipped and it literally was November 30th. I messaged her, I was like, wait, is this this for my box for December or is it my replacement? She said both. <laughs> and I was like, dang girl, get it. What day is it? It's December 6th right now. Yeah, I wasn't even planning on filming today. I already got two subscription boxes and then some Black Friday impulse. Orders are slowly coming in, so I'm thinking about doing a Black Friday haul. I forgot that I mentioned in a video, Griffin's gag gift. But I got him a James Charles Sisters apparel hoodie. And when he guessed it, he thought I was just joking. And I was like, no, like seriously, I did get you that. He died. And then Griffin got me a hoodie. I have my first Carolina Hurricanes merchandise that isn't DIY because he did make me a shirt. What turned to be a joke about the one player getting hit in the face with the red highlighter, the blood. Yeah, he's actually legit my favorite player. I know I always play it off as Sebastian. He's a cover up. I don't know why. He just kind of like grew on me. Not that they need to be cute to enjoy the sport, but it helps. So I figured I would just catch you guys up on why I've just been kind of like here, there, everywhere. I just wanted to thank you guys for being understanding and for the ones that have reached out either on Twitter or Instagram just asking how I was because you guys did notice that I was very distant recently. And I don't want to cry or tear up again. So let's get unboxing. It is heavy this month So I'm gonna open it weird like this because <laughs> my address is on this way not my PO box It's my PO box. I wouldn't care. It's in my description link in case you were wondering uh, But yeah Wait happy what happy what move card. Oh, that's so sweet. Happy holidays Amanda. Oh my gosh That's a nice personalization touch I love that so much. Oh, look at this cute like little puffer snow globe thing. They have one for Halloween, so I love it. And, oh, I think this is my replacement item. Make my ex want to get it back. CBD activated charcoal compressed sheet mask. This is the inside, all nice and packaged nice, even though these I always find all over my carpet, which is totally fine. That's what a vacuum is for. I see a future giveaway item for you guys. Oh look, it matches my sweater, kind of. Wait, that's my hair. <laughs> Wait, no, now it's in my hair. Right, sweater, kind of. Wait, what, what am I doing? Uh, crap, kind of. It's a little lighter, but anyway. This is my replacement item. I don't know how much it retails for. Add water or aloe vera to moisturize sheet mask until it expands. Oh, that is cool. I've never done a sheet mask like that before. So I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is a tiny mask. Is it for my nose? Is it actually for my face? <laughs> There's like five ingredients. Glycerin, bamboo, charcoal, hemp CBD powder, activated charcoal. So there's charcoal and activated charcoal. Interesting. I don't know what the difference is. CBD, anything, is like the new trend. I don't really think I've tried anything CBD. I get spam texts every single day to try CBD gummies for anxiety. I feel it's hacked. I feel like it's my phone telling me something. I don't want to make my ex want to get it back. <laughs> I'm good. They can just stay in 
Florida. If you guys wanna know what the giveaway item is gonna be? The Iconic Beauty Los Angeles Downtown Palette. And this retails for $24. So as I mentioned, I already have this palette. And if you watched my eyeshadow palettes that I own but haven't used yet, this was featured in it. So this one's gonna be set aside. Here's mine in the non-protective plastic case. It looks like a Huda palette, which is why I got it. Actually, no. <laughs> I got it in a Glitz Glam box and you could do double the glam because there's also a sister palette to this called the Hollywood palette. When we get to the try on portion, we're going to swatch. We'll try it on the eyes and see how this performs. Iconic Beauty is coming out of nowhere. I know the subscription service Glow Addict really likes to put their products in their box and so now I'm seeing it in Bijou. We also have another Iconic Beauty product. This is the Blue Tansy and Rose Hip Mist and this retails for $18. Not gonna lie, I thought Iconic Beauty was probably gonna be one of those brands that was just really cheap, but it actually is a little bit more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. I just never heard of the brand until I saw it in Glow Attic. Is this a setting spray? Is this a toner? Mist onto face after cleansing to tone skin. Mist throughout the day to refresh skin. So it is a toner, but I kinda wanna just spray it as like a setting spray as well later, but let's go on ahead and mist the face. Okay, it has a very ideal, for me, uh, spray radius and how much is dispensed per pump. And it smells really good. Is that the rose hip? It might be. Or is it the blue tansy? Very refreshing. I actually will need a toner soon. Almost out of my old Henriksen oil balance toner, which I really don't need it right now because my face is dry. I'm thinking about doing a winter skincare routine video because my face is struggling to retain moisture, but I did find a concoction of products that is helping, as well as my Marmande Rose Toner. I'm almost out of that as well. So this will be taking its place. I also received the vitamin C one in my Glow Attic box in November. I did not get to edit <laughs> or post that video up, but I actually really like that. So, so far I really like like their facial toner mists. We have this Loa brushes set and this retails for $36. I get really excited. Wait, hold on. Let me open this first and then try to tell you what I'm saying. So this is gonna be very loud and hard to hear me with the crackling plastic. What I was trying to say <laughs> and multitask at the same time is I love getting brushes in my subscription boxes. I can never have too many brushes. I always find myself having to clean them every single week, which I probably should because of bacteria reasons, microbial growth. Yeah, so I tend to just accumulate a lot of brushes so I don't have to clean them as often. That's probably not the best because then you're letting the bacteria grow even more and more and more. Whoa, these are cute. Look at the handles. Oh my gosh, I didn't think it was a whole set. Christmas came early. Oh, these feel nice. I don't think I've ever tried anything by the brand Loa. I don't know what each brush is gonna do, so. Oh wait, Loa Love and Happiness. Okay, that does not tell me what the brush should be used for. Not that you have to use the brush what it's recommending you to. It's just a suggestion or a guidance. <laughs> I use it more as a guidance. I'm like, well, if this is meant to be for this, I'm gonna use it for this. So this would probably be like a, maybe a bronzer or a blush. This, I could see being a highlighter. This is probably more realistically gonna be my blush. Maybe bronzer, precise bronzer. This looks like, a foundation brush, so I'll probably use this for primer. That's what I normally do. Okay. I don't know why I'm just swiping my face with these. Oh wait, this might be good for bronzer. So maybe this will be for loose pot. I don't know. There's a lot of like multifunction uses that these could do. Oh, maybe this could be highlighter too. And then we got some eye brushes. That's what I'm always looking for is eye brushes. But that's nice that this is a whole face set and I love these blinged out handles so much. And everything feels like soft and like the right amount of density that I like in my brushes. Because either some brushes are too stiff or some are too soft. This would be like a cut crease. I know I talk smack about cut creases that they just look like mush on me, but I've been having a lot of fun doing them recently. I'm starting to figure out like a way of how I like them to show up on my eyes. It's funny because like, there are some trends I just haven't been able to get into, like highlighting your brow bone or contouring. But then there are some that I get annoyed with. Like, I, I, I never liked Halo looks as well as cut creases and I, I really enjoy doing those kinds of looks. Oh wait, oh my gosh, look at this little eyebrow brush. 
I love that. That's gonna be so good if I were to go back to crap, what is it called? Cabral or uh, the ABH dip brow because I always go ham uh, filling in my brows. Or, I mean, you could do, I almost stabbed my eye right there, eyeliner, which I don't do winged eyeliner. I haven't done winged eyeliner since my wedding. And we got two more products still. We have the Millennial Beauté Ask Mask, and this retails for $45. I do and I don't want to try this product. I do want to try it because I'm very curious because it is a CBD plus peach booty scrub. I also want to give it to my friend Malik. She would absolutely kill me if I gave her this. She likes peaches, okay? <laughs> There's no any description about what this product is supposed to do. Maybe help reduce the appearance of stretch marks or cellulite on your butt I'm not sure who knew you have face masks hand masks feet masks and now ass masks and then we have the angel clashes beauty sponge and this retails for $5.55 angel 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 adult video ready <laughs> I swear I'll act the age that I actually am. I am still a teenager when it comes to a sense of humor. <laughs> or a five-year-old, as a lot of people call it. I mean, I'm laughing at the word ass mask. <laughs> Nothing broke. <laughs> I guess I just felt attacking my NARS pencil sharpener there. Oh, I did crumple up my Super Shock Shadow. And then my color correcting that I never used by Catrice <laughs> when flying. Where was I? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I don't really use sponges, even though I have been using a beauty blender recently but I think I'm gonna set this aside as well with the downtown palette as a giveaway because this is still in its container and I probably won't use it so I just don't want a sponge to collect dust where I could go to a loving home like one of you guys by just looking at the products I received I'm very happy with it the only product that I'm just kind of eh about is a sponge because I did get a whole brush set and I feel like I have everything that I need in the brush set so this is just kind of like almost unnecessary unless if you didn't prefer to apply your foundation with a brush and so you would probably like something like this. Ask me that like five years ago, I would have been all about that beauty blender. But this box seems pretty decent. We got two products by Iconic Beauty, so I'm excited to learn a little bit more about that brand. We have a booty mask and we have a full brush set and a palette, so I'm content. I'm going to take this foundation looking brush with my No Pore Blum Primer to prime my face don't mind this cystic pimple right here i like to think i take good care of my face <laughs> with my skincare routine and this is how my face repays me this feels like a luxie brush honestly i have like two of them over here for reference do i have one or two can i count they look and felt the same when applied now i don't think i'm going to be able to use any of these for foundation none of them just look like a foundation brush that i would use so i am going to dip into my sigma 3d hd max kabuki just to keep things simple i'm going to grab my tartiste pro glow face palette and apply my face products. I think I'm gonna try this brush for the bronzer. I would love to know what you guys are getting your parents, because I still need ideas for my dad. He'll probably just get a bottle of wine. Or your husband, significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it may be, because I always need gift ideas. Even though Griffin, he's done. <laughs> he's getting clothes, because he has clothes for everything, whether it's anniversary, <laughs> birthday, holiday. We're not season ticket holders yet for the Canes, but honestly, buying tickets through Sam's Club is so so much cheaper. I actually really like this brush. Maybe they are travel size, but they're very light. I like just holding them at the end and just like lightly applying. I don't know. Is that a thing? I'm gonna make it a thing. I don't know. I feel like this is almost too small for blush, but let's just try it. And this palette is starting to like a little bit hard pan on me, but it's okay. It's probably when I was oily those days. I don't know why else it would hard pan, but it's hard panning. Like I said, this is just gonna be very informal face products since I'm just trying out these brushes. I actually really like this, very precise. So did you guys get anything Black Friday? I wanna know what you guys bought. I impulse bought so many things, it's so bad. I already started like returning some items, just like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I just don't need it. I need a vent for like two seconds because Victoria's Secret normally does Sherpa blankets Black Friday. We got gypped this year, so upset about that. I love getting extra Sherpa blankets for my friends. I got like two or three extra ones last year and everyone loved them. Like Catherine almost took the one from my house <laughs> last year. I really wanted to get her one 
this year, but no. I like the face brushes. The four that I used seem to work out very nice and yay, more brushes to clean at some point. And then for my brows, I'm just gonna run through using the ColourPop Tinted Brow Gel. I guess I should swatch the whole palette. You guys probably wanna see the whole palette swatch. You guys like when I do swatches, which is very exciting because I know the swatches are boring for a lot of people. Oh wait, that is creamy. I was not expecting that. The Broad Last Bookstore Pershing Square. I'm a little concerned about some of them maybe being too creamy. So I'm a little concerned <laughs> about the eyeshadows, but we'll see. I mean, they're just swatches. They are overly creamy. It's almost too hard to blend. Like it just wants to stay there. It gets very stiff in a way, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Little Tokyo Grand Central Chinatown. Those last three swatched really nice. Maybe it's because they are a little bit deeper. Kind of reminds me of the J-Cat palette that we got. I think it was in my second video where a lot of the colors just almost look too similar. These are just swatches <laughs> and it's on my bare arm and not on my eyelids with primer. They felt creamy, but these look pretty sheer for shimmers. Coliseum Jewelry District Angel. Yeah, so these remind me of the Dominique Cosmetics topper shimmers that she had in the Celestial Storm and Thunder palettes. So I wonder if these would be best applied with your finger instead of a brush, and I would definitely probably recommend MAC Fix. Alvera Arts District LA Live, and these two, Arts District and LA Live, felt a little bit more thicker than the other three shimmers. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell that these are a little bit more thicker shimmers or these are more like toppers. And then the last row. Oh, that's a glitter, an actual glitter. O-U-E or ow, O Flower Market Fashion District. Yeah, so those shimmers are also topper-like. Broadway, Trojans, Bradbury. So those last three shades swatched really nice. So the color story isn't bad. Based off how the formula feels, it's not my absolute favorite. But then again, it's just by the touch and not applied on the eyes. Potion primer, I've been using this product for like 13 years. <laughs> and this is not a brush from the collection. I just need something to prime all over my eyes with. I feel like a lot of the color story actually matches my sweater. I'm gonna take Trojans. It's probably a mistake, but very powdery. I'm gonna place it in the crease. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be a shadow that is gonna be hard to move and blend because it really just wants to stick right there. Fantastic. Well, it's pigmented. It's a very pretty shade. It's just it's a little harsh. It just needs to be diffused a little bit because I really wanna take the shade Alvera. It's probably a mistake as well. There's powder everywhere from these eyeshadows and I just wanted to take it right here. Maybe I should have used this shade first and then went in, but it's okay. I always flip flop, but I never know. I feel like if I were to cut the crease, it would be a little too tacky for the shimmers. Artist District, I'm gonna start with this. This was a chunkier shimmer and it even looks chunky on there. Take it on the outside. I think everything's just gonna end up looking like mush. Angel is what I'm gonna take next. I even said use my fix. I'm not even listening to myself. I wanted to try it and my finger, but you know what? I'm stubborn. Maybe I should've just did that all over the lid instead of trying to be fancy on the halo look. Why does that be so fancy? And there's fallout all over my face. Maybe that's what this brush is for, to wipe the fallout away. And I'm gonna take this Half Cake Lipstick in the shade Legit for my lips. Let's use this as a setting spray. My favorite product from this month's Bijou's box were definitely the brush set. I really liked how the brushes really applied the products. I didn't run into any shedding issues. They were a really nice, soft, dense brush that worked on both my eyes and my face. They felt like really good quality brushes. I really like this mist. <laughs> I know it's for toning, but I did use it as a setting spray and I like it. It smells really nice and 
I need to see how it works in my skincare routine as well as if I do use it as a setting spray, how well does it lock my makeup in place without it looking cakey. I am excited to try this brand. And then the palette, it's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's a palette. I actually really like the end result, even though at first when I was creating it, I was not crazy about it. I need to explore it a little bit more. And then always the exciting part is to share back goodies with you guys. Let me know if you guys got the Bijou Beauty Box for December 2019. I would love to know if you got a different variation than me. Did you enjoy the products that you received? What were some of your favorites? What did and what didn't work out for you guys? Are you guys planning on getting Bijou in 2020? If you are, I do have a non-affiliated discount code. I don't make money off of it. It is just to help you guys to save some money. You can use code AIDS Amanda for 15 percent off. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't, thank you for the view anyways and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway! Bye!